My name is Dr. Lauren Esposito. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a biologist at the California Academy of Sciences, and I'm queer. To the graduating queer and trans class of 2020, congratulations. This is a monumental moment in your lives. It's a moment of excitement. It's a moment of uncertainty about the future. And it's a moment to celebrate yourselves and what you've managed to accomplish so far. When there's any transition in life, it brings a great deal of opportunity. There's the opportunity to reimagine yourself, the opportunity to find your community, the opportunity to figure out what path in life is going to make you happiest. And most importantly, the opportunity to change the world. So I challenge all of you to go out and find that thing that makes you the most happy, that will help you make this world a better place. A couple of years ago, I started a visibility campaign for LGBTQ people working in STEM and STEM supporting careers. I started it because I felt alone, because I didn't know if there was a place for me as a queer person to work in science. And I wanted to find out if there were other people out there in the world feeling the same. So I started collecting stories and publishing them on a website. And the stories were simply people celebrating their identities as somebody in queer, or trans, somebody and somebody celebrating their accomplishments in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's those accomplishments that propel society forward. In this moment of crisis, we need people who think differently to help propel us forward. When I graduated high school 20 years ago, the world was a very different place. I grew up in the border of the US and Mexico in the state of Texas. And I grew up in a Hispanic community. And it was a community that I celebrate. I celebrate the richness of the culture, but it was also a community where the culture sometimes made me question whether the way that I felt and the way that I identified was wrong. So when I graduated from high school at 16, I was graduating not because I was exceptional, but rather because it was the only way that I was gonna be able to move forward in life. It was graduate or drop out. So I chose the path to move forward. I enrolled in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but eventually I became a biologist and discovered that I have a passion for studying the natural world around me. Now I have a master's and a PhD and I spend my life traveling the world documenting the plants and animals that share this globe with us. This is the, my role in propelling science forward. So as you move forward into your own path and figuring out what that is, just remember a few things. One, you have a place there. Two, all of us have intersectional identities. And it's really important to remember that you should use those aspects of your intersectionality that are privileged to lift up those around you that are not, that are struggling with being trans and can receive support from their cis colleagues or peers that are struggling with being black and can receive support from their white peers, that are struggling with being a woman and can re receive support from their male peers. Remember these things as you move forward as a community to celebrate yourselves and support one another at the same time. With that, I'd like to say congratulations, go forward into the world, but remember, you are not alone.